text me, yo, what's going on, everybody? I guess that's just that time again. Um, I got a big breakfast here. Hash brown, bacon, sausage, grits, eggs. Mm -hmm. Y'all wild out this morning. I was in the wrong. Went to work this morning. I've been feeling like crap since last week, but I've still been going, drinking energy drinks and But today, I guess, this is my drawing point. I kept coming in, telling my my crew leader. Well, project manager. <clears throat> I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I was telling about another employee. I was like, yeah, man, you don't sound good, man. You sound like crap. And he's like, oh, yeah. He wanted those that come in sick, don't give a damn. Um, welcome back to another eating video. <sighs> Y'all pray for me. There's something on me. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm tired. Weak. Today's my anniversary. My son's ring ceremony. So I get to work. Just going to load up this duck work to take out towards Myrtle Beach. Long hour ride. I get there. I'm told, oh, well, there's like three, four more pieces to be made. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, when you don't feel good, you're ill, you're achy, you know, whatever. I'm like, well, I'm not delivering it today. I refuse to deliver it today. I don't have time to sit here and wait for y'all to build the pieces that I was told that was going to be done yesterday afternoon. And it's not done. <clears throat> it's over 800 no, not 800. That's over eight hour drive. So I get about ten dollars, ten dollars, ten or you know, let's just put it this way. I leave around eight. I get back home about four fifty, almost five o'clock. Sometimes six. It depends on how traffic is. Stop and get gas. Use the bathroom. Blah blah blah. You know. So I go tell my project manager. He's in the computer. I know he's busy. I'm letting him know what's going on. I'm like. I noticed that you got some work, some duck work that's going to Savannah. Would you like for me to take that? <clears throat> He's all in his computer. He don't even look at me. He's just like, no, nah, don't worry about it. If you don't feel good, you know, go home. I don't understand why you come to work if you're not feeling good. I ain't been since last week. <clears throat> and you know, the gangster side of me just was like, look, motherfucker, I don't have money sitting in the bank to where I can miss out. I have vacation days. And they're not even considered vacation days. They're considered as sick days because when I don't feel good, I have to use my vacation days. So, fuck all that that you talking. But are you cool with that? He's like, yeah, Ruben, just go, just go. So I get down the road. Yesterday, my truck was acting up. I know how to do mechanic work. I fixed the truck. Forgot to tell him. I'm not feeling good. When I got done, I passed out. I went to sleep. I'm not feeling good. I'm sleepy. I'm cranky. I'm sick. Got up this morning, vomited. Still came into work. Got a headache. And I tell him all that. And then I'm like, okay, whatever, and leave. So I started feeling a type of way. I tried calling him, and I tried calling my boss man. They didn't want to answer the phone. So, 
for y'all that don't know, I am not the fucking one. I don't play no bullshit. I'm sorry if I'm cussing, but I'm a real motherfucker. I said, fuck that. I turned around. I went back. When I went in the back of the shop, they were both getting in his truck. And I pulled my truck right in front of them like we about to do a damn, you know, I'm about to rob your ass kind of, you know. And I looked at the supervisor and all I seen out of his mouth was, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. So he rolls down his window and he leans over like this. And then I got my boss man sitting in the passenger side. I'm like, well, since you can't answer your phone, well, I'm sorry, man. I was busy. I was like, the reality of it is, motherfucker, we're always busy always busy we always got somewhere to be we're always in a fucking rush and then i looked over at my boss man i said and i tried texting you and well i tried calling you and you can't answer your phone either i said but that's okay he was like well Ruby, you come in here you're talking about you sick all the time and i'm like yeah because i'm just trying to get my money i don't have time to take out and if i take an energy drink it kind of covers it up and i keep going with it i said but the reason why I'm also doing that is because I'm letting y'all know that I'm a valuable fucking aspect of this company. You don't get no money from these jobs out of towns until I come and drop off the fucking materials. But that's okay. I don't want to feel a type of way. I'm not trying to make it any worse than what it is. So I hope y'all have a good fucking day. I'm out this bitch. And oh yeah, I'm not coming to work tomorrow either. Because I need to get better. <laughs> Well, the boss man's son seen that he's like well, what's going on i was like apologize to your daddy for me i'm gonna take some apologize but shit went crazy <laughs> so i'm at home well i'm in my truck but you know it is what it is then i had to take my son to school now my other son's school calling but Y'all hold it down, stay blessed, stay positive, keep that head up and heart pumping. Y'all got this. I love y'all, man.